Ubiquiti offer two powerful AI devices that improve your surveillance setup. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the difference between the two. That is the AI port and the AI key. The AI key has just recently been announced. And in this video, we're gonna break down the difference between the two and talk about what scenario you would use each one in. Taking a look at these physically, you can see there's quite a bit of difference between them. The AI key having a PoE++ input and the AI port having a PoE in and PoE out. Now, there are a few different options with the PoE in and out. You can use PoE++ to get PoE++ out or you can use PoE++ to get PoE out. They both have accessories that you can purchase to rack mount them so you don't have to keep them around anywhere. You can buy units to get them rack mounted so they can sit nicely in your setup. First, let's talk about the AI port. So this device right here is an AI appliance that enhances your Unify or third party cameras with AI detection capabilities. It's compatible with the third-party OMVIF cameras and either you can connect it directly to your network or you can use this device right here to power your cameras themselves. Now the AI key, this is an Edge AI appliance which gives you the following features. It analyzes up to a thousand smart detection events per hour. It provides detailed object and context descriptions. You have the ability to use natural language search to find anything that you're looking for transcribes speech events with the AI cameras, and it sharpens face recognition images for enhanced identification. Next, let's talk about the key differences and the comparisons. So with the AI key, it enhances the entire Unify Protect deployment, providing advanced features across multiple cameras, whereas the AI port enhances individual cameras, adding the smart detection capabilities on a per camera basis. That is compatible with the G3, G4, G5, and third party cameras. Currently the AI port is a one-to-one -one mapping, so keep that one in mind. It does mention on the Unify website that there is one-to-many mapping coming soon. And what that looks like is if you have an OMVIF 2K cameras, you can have up to two cameras on this. If you have an OMVIF HD camera, you can have up to three cameras, or it mentions just if you have Unify Protect cameras, it can do up to five. At this point, all we know is it is coming in a future Protect update. Now, both of these are obviously designed for Unify Protect systems. The AI key enhances the smart detections for G4 and G5 series only. It can do third-party OMVIF cameras as long as it is attached with an AI port. Without the AI port on the third-party cameras, there's no way for the AI key to read the smart detections. And as for the AI port, it's compatible with both the Unify cameras and the third-party OMVIF cameras, again, adding the smart detections to the specific camera. Let's talk about the specific AI enhancements about what each of these devices add. So the AI port enables the G3, G4, G5 ONVIF cameras to support not just the standard person, animal and vehicle detections, but it also adds the more detailed, so the vehicle type, classification, face and license plate recognition, and all of that is processed in real time. The AI key adds face and license plate recognition to the G4 and G5 cameras, and additionally also enables the advanced computer vision enhancement processing on all the detections from paired and supported cameras, which can be used for the natural language search and as an alarm manager rule or trigger. The AI key is compatible with analyzing up to 1000 smart detections per hour, and it has a queue limit of 200 images. Whereas with the AI port, it supports one camera and gives you real time detections. In terms of price point, there is a big difference between the two. The AI port comes in at $199, and the AI key comes in at $679. Now you might think, well, that is a massive difference between the two, but what you need to keep in mind is both these devices work differently. Sometimes they work individually and sometimes they best work hand in hand. Let's take a quick look at the settings between the two. So you'll see right here, I have the AI key and the AI port. AI port, very simple settings. You'll see it on the right hand side of your screen. You can see the paired camera right there. So I have a single camera that's connected. This is an OMVIF camera, we click manage and we have a whole bunch of cameras that we can choose. Now at the bottom, you can see the front door is grayed out because that is currently being enhanced by the AI key. So you can go and change any camera on here at any point if you wish to do so. And that is really it with the AI port. There's not a lot else to it. With the AI key, there's a little bit more on here. So we have the camera coverage, the detections, the detections in the queue and the face enhancements. And if we go to the settings, this is where all the options are right here. So we have the computer vision enhancement, speech to text, 
license plate recognition and you'll see the front door is selected there and also facial recognition the front door is also selected there as well and finally we have the face enhancement now i do do a full deep dive into both of these products individually and those links are down in the description if you want to watch those reviews when you're deciding between the two whether you're deciding to get an ai key or an ai port or even both be sure to have a look at your existing setup or the setup that you're going to be installing and see whether each of these are required. Do you need the smart detections for a one-to-one -one camera or do you need those advanced features that have the search, the speech text and everything that I've listed at the start of this video. Hopefully this has answered some of your questions in terms of which one you might need to buy and point you in the right direction. Links to the individual reviews of these products are down in the description below so check them out. For now this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.